It's not like we're doing anything wrong. It's just a matter of, it's just not the right time for certain things right now. Temperance. See, this is what we're talking about. We are still in a process of healing from certain heartbreak. We're not stuck by it any longer, is what I just heard. We're not really burdened by it any longer. We're starting a new reality for ourselves and we're moving forward with our hearts. We're just rising from it. We're able to move forward from it, okay? Hello everyone, welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you guys so very much for tuning in. So this is going to be your general collective tarot reading. Yes, please keep in mind this is a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Also, this is a timeless reading, so whenever you're guided to watch this reading and it resonates, then that's the message for you in that moment. Please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Um, and yeah, I think that's it. <laughs> so I'm back. Um, uh, so, oh, oh, also keep in mind, I'm going to get a, get into a bit of story time. So there are timestamps down below in the description box and in the pinned comment below if you would like to get straight to the reading. But you guys, um, I, I want to talk, I just want to explain, <laughs> give you guys in like an official rundown of what happened this weekend. So um, I'm okay. I, I'm, I'm safe. Everything turned out fine. Um, we did have Hurricane Elsa pass through on Saturday, but it actually, it didn't really affect where I am, at least on the island. Um, there are probably other areas like more central to the south and more central of the island that probably got more in terms of like wind and rain and everything, but where I am, uh, really didn't get much of anything. Uh, very early in the morning, um, some bands came through with like very, very light rain um, and comparatively light winds. You know, we were expecting a lot more, but luckily we didn't, we really didn't get hit, which is, which is good. So I guess you can say we dodged a bullet this time. Um, I don't even want to say it like that. It just, it worked out well. However, I did end up losing power anyway. Uh, it was quarter to seven on Saturday morning. I was up. I had just shaved. I was getting, literally getting ready to like set up and do what I had planned for Saturday, which was to finish the love readings for Patreon, to do a personal reading, and then to get to our week ahead. But at quarter to seven, the power went out. It just out. And there really, I, I, don't, I don't know exactly what happened. Anything could have happened, but it ended up being out all weekend, which was very frustrating. Um, so that's where I was. I ended up staying with a friend. That worked out well because she had to take an emergency trip back home earlier than she had planned. And so she, she wasn't home and, you know, she needed someone to like watch her dogs for her for, you know, the time. And so I was able to do that. So that worked out well, but, um, it was a really frustrating situation. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, you guys. It was extremely frustrating. So anyway, but we're here. Yay. We're back. Woo. Um, and I don't, I don't know about you guys, but. My energy is like, I'm a little battered and bruised right now, given what happened over the weekend with the frustration surrounding having a plan and trying to, you know, keep up with my, my a new schedule that I'm putting in for myself that seems to be working and then elements come in and take things out. But to be honest, um, it, it does, it definitely falls in line with the whole 222 two, two energy that we've been talking about. We were talk, kind of talking about that a little bit, a little bit last week. Um, and I do think I want to talk about that. I'm not sure if that's going to come through in this reading. I might want to do that for Patreon, like a little extra thing to get into that because there's also, 
Um, there's also a lot of twin flame energies that are wrapped up in it. Um, and I broke down last night, but it wasn't, it wasn't because of the twin flame situation. It was because of like some personal things that I'm struggling with, um, that are things that I've always been struggling with surrounding family. It, nothing has happened with family. It's just, I'm, I'm reliving some of the situations, um, and working on healing some of the situations that I haven't fully healed yet. But it is definitely connected to the Twin Flame energies because that, for some reason, I haven't quite exactly figured out why, but um, that's all been resurging over the last two weeks, I want to say, which is really frustrating. <laughs> but it's all mostly coming up for healing. Um, I do want to talk about that, but we'll probably talk about that over on Patreon. So my Patreoners um, expect... I don't even want to say that. I don't know when it's going to happen because I still have catch up to do. But I do want to talk about that. Um, I am planning on doing a pick a card reading for the Twin Flame Collective this month. Um, I'm not sure. Uh, right now, to be honest with you, right now I want to um, I want to do a message, a Twin Flame reading for the Divine Feminine in terms of uh, just messages that we need to hear right now from spirit that's kind of what i'm planning on doing for youtube here patreoners you're still going to get your twin flame readings when when i can get to them um but yeah i feel like there's a lot to talk about there and i broke down yesterday amanda and i have a breakdown yesterday and i'm still kind of feeling a little heavy from that um but that's a thing so we can discuss that later anyway that's enough story time, but yeah, I'm here. Everything's okay. I spent yesterday, uh, oh, the power came back like sometime sad Sunday night. Of course, I wasn't home, but by the time I got home on, sun on Monday, yesterday, the power was back, which was good. So I got home like super early, like 6 a.m. and cleaned. I spent like a good six hours just cleaning my house because... It had, got, it had fallen into such disarray because we had been experiencing power outages off and on, off and on, and it just, everything just started to pile up. And so yesterday I took the day to just clean and relax and get my house in order, which then helped me get my mind in order, which is then where I broke down. <laughs> anyway, so... Yeah, but we're here. We're good. All right. So we're going to get into this uh, and fuck it. Let's just do that. Okay, here we go. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve their highest good and the highest good of all involved. Please give us clear and accurate representation of the energies in terms of these situations, situationships, romances, relationships, circumstances, and places of which we all need it the most. Thank you so very much, Spirit. Yes, I realize I said that wrong. It's in which, but it really doesn't fucking matter. Okay, let's give this five shuffles. One. For the collective, what's going on in the collective today, Spirit? What do you want to talk about today? This is two. This is three. This is four. And this is five. All right. Here we go. Collective tarot reading. What's going on with the collective today, Spirit? What would you like to discuss with the collective at this moment?
<laughs> Look at that. Okay, at the bottom of the deck, you have the Knight of Cups. We do have Temperance here, which is pretty funny because Temperance to me is representing, is symbolizing this whole 222 need for balance, need for rest, need for recuperation, need for patience. Patience is something that I've been hearing a lot lately. Um, just be patient. Um, and I'm trying to, me personally, I'm trying to, you know, make moves. And it just, it's like, well, I, the message that I got this morning was that, you know, it's just not the right time for certain things right now. Um, and it's not that I'm doing anything wrong. And I guess this is definitely a message for all of us. It's not like we're doing anything wrong. It's just a matter of, it's just not the right time for certain things right now. Temperance. At the bottom of the deck, you do have the Knight of Cups. Underneath the Knight of Cups is the Three of Swords to the Page of Pentacles to the Sun to the Seven of Wands to the Ten of Swords to the Six of Swords. See, this is what we're talking about. This is what we're talking about here. We are still in a process of healing from certain heartbreak, from certain pain, and starting over from that. It's, it's, it's a good thing. It's a beautiful thing because we're not stuck by it any longer is what I just heard. We're not really burdened by it any longer to the extent that we were in the past. Um, we're starting a new reality for ourselves and we're moving forward with our hearts. Uh, what I'm hearing is our hearts are fully open. That's what the Knight of Cups is representing here. We're moving forward. We're starting over Page of Pentacles after the pain, Three of Swords, because we've seen the light, because we've come to a greater understanding of it. It could, with the sun here, it could very well just be that um, we're just rising from it. We're able to move forward from it, okay? But we are moving forward. Seven of Wands, Ten of Swords, Six of Swords. We are moving forward. And we're keeping our boundaries up. This is a good thing, you guys. This is a positive thing, okay? This is definitely a positive thing. It feels painful, sure. There's still a lot of residual that needs to work its way out. The sun does represent that in this situation, okay? We are having to find our training wheels or we are having to wear a little bit of training wheels right now because we are in a new reality. We're stepping into a new reality. Our hearts are pulling us towards a new reality, okay? Knight of Cups, Page of Pentacles energy. Um, now, but we have Temperance here, which is at, on the table. We were just reading at the bottom of the deck. This is Temperance, right? You have the Two of Wands. We have the King of Pentacles. And one last card that has fallen face down. And it's the Five of Wands. Okay. This Five of Wands energy is representing internal conflict. The King of Pentacles is representing us, is representing you as an individual, but it's representing the time that it takes for something to solidify for something to reach maximum potential, for something to reach full potency or um, full effect, if you want to call it that. Okay, the king of you don't you don't reach the king of pentacles status overnight. It's something you have to grow into. It's something that you have to make a constant effort to work towards, and you've chosen. Two of Wands. You've chosen to work towards this. Now, the other thing that the King of Pentacles and the Two of Wands are representing is the solidity, the fact of the solidity of yourself that you have come to. Was that even... <laughs> with that proper English? I don't know. Um, but it's... It, the King of Pen Pentacles represents who you have grown into, who you have become as a result of everything that you're moving forward from, right? Okay, 
the King of Pentacles and the Two of Wands are also representing. Now, number one, the King of Pentacles is representing the person or the state of being that you have risen into. That's what I just heard. And from that place, from that solid, stable, grounded place within yourself, you have made a decision. But that, but whatever it is you've decided to move towards, or maybe even in some cases I did just hear move away from, it takes time to do that. So we have to be patient, okay? Now, you do have this Five of Wands energy here. And I want to talk a little bit about that. What is, what's going on with this Five of Wands, with this internal conflict? Okay. Hmm. You have the Empress at the bottom of the deck now. And with this, you have the Wheel of Fortune and the Fool. Very interesting. So again, time, you guys. Okay, so some of you are, some of you are still trying to decide. Or no, okay. You feel like you're still trying to decide. There seems to be some sort of hold up. But that hold up is while the universe brings certain things into alignment, the wheel of fortune. While the universe lines things up, while the universe gets things ready. You're sitting here on the precipice waiting to take that leap into the new. I get it. And, and this five of wands is the internal conflict surrounding when is this going to happen? When is the time going to come? At the bottom of the deck, you have the Empress to the world. You have the Empress to the world. And the Empress here is, is coming through and reminding us that everything's going to work out just fine. The abundance is there. The, the Empress is representing that time of nurturance when you need to allow things, you need to allow the seeds to just grow. It's not, again, this is not something that's going to happen overnight. The, the, the ending of the situation, the completion of the cycle is coming. And I definitely feel like we're standing here on the precipice waiting to take this leap of faith, ready to jump into the next, ready to step into the new. It, but it's just not quite time yet. Okay. I want to start um, clarifying a little bit. Um, but I want to talk about temperance, spe <clears throat> excuse me, specifically. Because that seems to be, and it's so, it's so funny, you guys, because yesterday I was, I was going through the motions and I was just, you know, feeling through everything. And I was like, we should probably do another two, two, two discussion. And the first thing that came out or that the first thing that popped into my head was temperance. So I guess that's what this is talking about here in a sense. Okay. Uh, five shuffles. Yeah. One. Two. Three. Four. You're so ready. You feel ready. I'm looking at this King of Pentacles and it just feels like I'm literally hearing what's the hold up? Why hasn't this started yet? Why hasn't this come through yet? Why haven't why can't I move forward yet? Let's talk about temperance. 
What's temperance for the collect? Tell me that's the Knight of Pentacles. <laughs> the first card. The first card that flew out, you guys. It's the Knight of Pentacles. I mean, I, I don't know what else to say. Temperance. You have to be patient. Things take time. There are certain steps that need to be taken first. There are certain things that need to be put in place first. There are certain circumstances or whatever that need to get into alignment first. And this is not saying that you're not in alignment because you are. King of Pentacles. You are. You're solid. You're good. You're there. You're standing there. You're standing there ready for this. Saying, where the hell are my ships? Why hasn't this happened yet? And because of that, it's causing you to question the choice that you've made. Am I moving in the right direction? Did I do the right thing? Did I make a silly mistake? No. No. You didn't make any mistake. The King of Pentacles energy is solid. You know who you are. You know what it is that you want. You know what it is that you are capable of. You're good. You're set. You're solid. Just because it hasn't come through yet doesn't mean it's not coming. Whatever this is for you, this could be anything, whatever, whatever you're working on manifesting. But what the universe is saying here is that it's going to take time. The Knight of Pentacles is the energy of making sure all of your T's are crossed, all of your I's are dotted. We're not moving forward. We're not taking the next step. We're not accepting the next thing. We're not starting the next mission until this one is complete. And there's still a level of completion that is happening underneath the surface. Okay, the Wheel of Fortune, you have Empress and the world. And what you're completing has been a really toxic and confining type of situation. That's going to lead you towards greater reciprocity because you have made a decision that is better for yourself. That is for your highest good. And why is it for your highest good? Because it takes you out of poverty consciousness, lack mentality, maybe even codependency, five of pentacles, and sets you right up with divine self-love, unconditional love, ace of cups. The hermit, the moon, the eight of pentacles, the emperor, the two of pentacles. This is all talking about you. You've come through the darkness. You've seen the light. We have the sun and the moon showing up. The sun was in, where was the sun? Oh, the sun was at the bottom of the deck in the beginning. But you're shining your light. You see through the darkness. You see clearly. I definitely wanna say that with the moon and the, and the hermit here, you see clearly and you're working. You're working on it. You have to persevere, you have to stay committed. Yeah, see, two of pentacles to the devil, now to the knight of pentacles again, okay? This is all just devil-type energy, the past circumstances, whatnot, whatever, that are trying to pull you back, to trying to hold you down. But you have to stand up, and you have to fight for it, and you have to remain disciplined, you have to remain committed, you have to remain focused, keep your boundaries up and continue working towards this. Because quite frankly, you guys, the, the more consistent you are with the work that you do towards this, the more you will be rewarded, the better off you're going to be once it actually comes through. Let's get some more. There's the King of Pentacles again. And I just, all I wanna say with the King of Pentacles is that you're solid, you're good. You know what it is you have to do. You know who it is that you are. You know what it is that you want. You know where it is you're going. Of course, you don't necessarily know how exactly you're going to get there or when it's actually gonna happen, but you know where you're going. You're solid. Let's get a little bit, little bit more. We have temperance here. We have the Knight of Pentacles with temperance, but what else can you tell us about temperance? Please do it.
There's the Eight of Swords again. With the King of Wands and the Hanged Man. Okay. So, the reason why this is going to be so difficult, or why this is going to take so much, I'm hearing action, but I kind of want to say energy, why this is going to, why this is such a process, What's, why this is such a deep process, because this was, whatever it is you're moving out of, I'm hearing this is generations worth of experience. So again, it's not going to happen overnight. You're not just going to wake up one day and be completely free of centuries worth or lifetimes worth or ancestry worth hundreds of years, thousands of years of ancestry worth of confinement. I mean, you didn't get there overnight, right? <clears throat> Think about it. On a soul level, you didn't get there overnight. You got there over hundreds of lifetimes. Thousands and thousands of experiences with in certain cer different circumstances. So it's don't ex you can't really expect yourself 555 five, five on the counter. You, you can't really expect yourself to get out of it overnight. Okay? But that does not mean that you give up or you lose confidence. That does not mean that you don't continue to persevere. That does not mean that you don't keep your tunnel vision going, saying, I know I'm getting myself the fuck out of here, and ain't nobody going to stop me. King of Wands. But you know why you do that? Not because you're stubborn, not because you're arrogant, not because you, you're this, that, and the third, or you're selfish, or you're egotistical, or you want what you want, and you're going to get it because, well, fuck you and fuck them. I'm going to get what I want. It's not because of that. And that's what makes this so powerful. That's what makes this point that we are, that you are in, so powerful. Because it's not coming from a place of ego. It's coming from a place of change in perspective. And having learned. And recognizing what needs to change. The hanged man with the seven of pentacles. It's not because of ego. It's because of awareness. And it's that awareness that helps to give you that drive to say, no, I'm getting the fuck out of here. Don't try and stop me. Because it's not going to end well for you. I want to talk about the Wheel of Fortune next. Because this is talking about changes that need to be made. And or um, things that need to shift underneath the surface that are out of your direct control or out of our direct control. Okay, these are universal energies here. Working, conspiring on our behalf. We are co-creating with the universe. And we do that by remaining solid in who we are and what it is we want. King of Pentacles, King of Wands. We are still talking about masculine energy. We've been talking about that masculine energy since last week. Maybe two weeks ago even. It may have started slightly. I don't remember. Okay, there's still a lot of determination, a lot of drive, a lot of authority, personal authority. This is not authority, having authority over a group of people. No, this is being your own personal authority, King of Pentacles, right? Okay, but let's talk about the Wheel of Fortune here. What's the Wheel of Fortune just uh, for us, please, Spirit? What's this Wheel of Fortune energy? Good. 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 So, yes, see? Okay, what I'm hearing, there we go. We have the Page of Wands at the bottom of the deck, which is representing re-identifying yourself, starting a new life path, starting a new journey, starting a new creative process, starting a new career path, starting something new. A new create, we'll call it a new creative process, regardless as to what it is specifically for you, because the new creative process is whatever it is that you are creating in your life 
that is new, that you're working on stepping into, that you're working on remaining in alignment with and manifesting through that alignment. That's regardless as to what it ends up being specifically for you in your life, it's still a creative process because again, we are co-creating with the universe here, okay? And quite frankly, you guys, we gotta start somewhere, right? Page of, uh, page of wands, okay. But what I also heard, very, what is very important to understand, to keep in the forefront of your mind, is that the hardest part of this is over. Ten of Swords. Why is it over? Because you've reached a level of union with self, Four of Wands. And this is directly allowing you to end this tough cycle, Ten of Swords. So you just have to keep going. <laughs> the Nine of Wands. I, there ain't nothing else to it, honey. You just have to keep going. Don't you dare even think about stopping now. Don't even, don't, I swear, I will reach through my phone that I'm recording this right now and slap you upside your head. Don't you dare think about stopping now. You are too close. You have come so far. There is absolutely no reason to stop now. I'm getting emotional. I might cry. Fair warning. <laughs> This is all clarifying the wheel of fortune. It's because, it's because of this alignment, you guys, this four of wands energy, it's because of this union with self that is directly allowing this 10 of swords bullshit to end and is bringing about great change on your behalf because you're finally in an alignment to allow the universe to usher this in. But that doesn't mean it's gonna come in right away. There are still some circumstances, some pieces that need to be worked out underneath the surface. Divine timing is a thing. Divine timing is a thing. Last thing that I want to talk about is the King of Pentacles. Yeah? So what's this King of Pentacles for the collective? What does the King of Pentacles have to say for the collective? Please hear it. This sure is interesting. So the King of Pentacles is representing the solidity that you've come to within yourself. The foundation is what I'm hearing. The grounding. The grounded elements of yourself. Having grounded more of yourself into your physical reality. More of your spiritual self. More awareness of yourself. Having pulled that in and having a deep understanding of it. Right? It feels like you're settling into a foundation with this King of Pentacles. So like I say this often with the Four of Wands, right? The Four of Wands is, is a lot like, is a celebratory energy. But it's a lot like that moment where when you're building a house, I used to say this all the time when I first started reading, but you're building a house and you're building it from scratch, like brand new, bare, bare plot of land. Um, and you have to pour the cement foundation, right? Well, okay, obviously that cement has to dry. You're not going to build your house on a puddle, a pool of wet cement. Oh, okay. But even after the cement has dried, you still have to give it time because it needs to settle into the earth before you start building more on top of it or else everything, all of your calculations, your blueprint is going to be way out of whack, right? Well, that's what this King of Pentacles energy is feeling like. You're literally settling into the foundation of whom you are now versus who you used to be right king of pentacles is coupled with uh, i'm sorry is um clar uh clarified yes <laughs> by the six of pentacles and the chariot in reverse 
If it is not reciprocal, it's a no-go. And that's why the universe is like, you know what, we need you to be patient. Because there are still some toxic circumstances that are ending right now. And no, it's not because you've done anything wrong. You are actually doing the right thing because you're settling into this new version of yourself. You can't expect yourself to enter a new vibration, a new reality, and just hit the ground running like that. That's not practical. It's not sustainable. And we know the King of Pentacles is the epitome of practicality. He's so damn practical, sometimes it's annoying, right? But the message here, and what, what it is you're settling into in this situation, if it's not reciprocal, it's a no-go. Six of Pentacles, Chariot in reverse. And you have to honor that. You have to stay the course there. You cannot flounder on that. We cannot allow that to be a part of our realities any longer. Anything else that we want to clarify? The Fool. All right. Let's talk about the Fool then. Yes? Last but not least. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, I'm sorry. Go back to the King of Pentacles because I never, I didn't talk about what's at the bottom of the deck, right? If it's not reciprocal, it's a no-go because that is, in fact, the lesson we have been learning all along. Seven of Pentacles to the Hanged Man. Yeah, you guys. Yeah. All right. Now let's talk about the fool. Anything you want to say about the fool, please, spirit? What's the fool here? For the collective? Yep. Page of Wands again. Re-identifying yourself. This is starting your, this is starting, it's as if, it's as if your life is starting for real now, is what I'm hearing. Because you have further control. Because you have a further, deeper sense of auto, damn. You have a deeper sense of autonomy. The fool is clarified by the hermit. So it is this sense of inner awareness of your personal reality. I'm hearing your personal reality, personal awareness, awareness of your reality, aware awareness of yourself, awareness of your needs, your desires, your fears, your pain. And though it's not in terms of your pain, it's not just, oh, I'm hurt or, oh, I'm, I heart I'm heartbroken. No, this is deeper than that. This is knowing why you're heartbroken. This is knowing why you're hurt. This is the awareness of all of that. It's not just looking back on the situation and saying, yeah, that happened. It's looking back on the situation and being like, yes, that happened. And yes, I've grown from it. And this is what I've learned from it. This is what I've come to understand about the situation, about myself, what not, whatever. And that is directly leading you towards a leap of faith. But you guys, we have got to be patient. There's temperance again. We've got to be patient. And I know that's easier said than done. The divine is saying that to us. We get it, you guys. We know this is easier said than done. But it's still possible. You're just going to have to trust us there. <laughs> okay closing oracle guidance um and i'm wanting to get closing oracle guidance from the angel answers deck today four shuffles one
This is two. Oh. Ah, sorry, okay, they're wanting me to say what I just saw. I was just looking at the bottom of the deck and there are a bunch of pages. Page of Wands, Page of Cups, Seven of Wands, Page of Swords. Okay, this is this is a lot of new beginning type of energy. All right. This is you going through a re-identification process, Page of Wands, in relation to uh, your inner your your emotional reality, also your inner child, and defending that, and keeping out a sentry, Seven of Wands. Keeping the sentry out, page of swords, to make sure that nothing hurts you, gets in your way, stops you, moves you out of your focus. This is laser focus right here. That is supporting, that are supporting, no, no, I'm sorry, that is supporting your boundaries in terms of who it is you are becoming at this point. Okay? All right. Let's get into this closing oracle guidance. So this is number two case. Three. And four. All right, closing message, closing oracle guidance. Any answers that you might want answered? Ooh. Okay. Um, we have three cards here. Uh, I didn't even think to say, you know, if you want to ask a question, blah, blah, blah. But like, whatever. Just take it as it resonates, you guys. <laughs> you have uh, three cards. I do feel like this could be, this all could be connected. See, I told you. This all could be connected. Or maybe there are three individual answers. I don't know. Take it as it resonates. First card we have is improving health. And this is not just physical health. This is mental, spiritual, emotional. This is also Im the improving health of your inner child. Let me tell you something. The reason why I broke down so hard yesterday is because of my connection with my inner child. <clears throat> I'm starting to realize that the blockages I've experienced in my, in my life and within myself, the inertia, the stagnancy, it all comes from being a kid. That was such a hard time. <laughs> that was a really hard time. Um, and I didn't, I don't think, I don't think until you actually start to really do that healing work, I don't think you really realize just how damaging that was. And so it's like I'm spending all this time that my ego and programming says I'm just wasting. But I'm literally spending all this time playing catch up. You know how like when you when you're like sleep deprived and you finally get a chance to, to sleep and you sleep for like 24 hours straight or some crazy shit like that. That's what this feels like. Improving health. There is something better, but it's just not the right time. It's just not the right time, guys. I don't know what else you want me to say. I don't, know what, I don't know what else you want the divine to say. It doesn't mean it's not coming. 
It doesn't mean it's not coming. It's just not the right time right now. Hmm. Okay. I'm gonna leave it there. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. I love you all so very much. I hope you have a fantastic day. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee tomorrow morning. Yeah? Excellent. Take care. Mwah! Bye. Ha, <laughs>